What if you knew what you like, know now, bro? Bro, well, I'll be all American back then. I just used to lift like a wild animal, no rhyme or reason, and eat whatever. Yeah. Now I know, you know what needs to be done. Now there's a method to the madness. Method to the madness, baby. You know what I mean? You gotta just know what you're doing because it's just basically, before it was just organized chaos. But now, you know, I methodically choose, you know, when I eat, how I eat, where I work out, what body parts to use. Year round, bro. All year round. How you stay motivated year round? So basically, I do this really to motivate others. Because, you know, the biggest thing is, people always hit me up on Instagram and say, hey man, how you do this? How you work this out, this and that? I just remember when I started, besides the help from you, no one really reached out to me. Nobody really, you know, told me what's up. And so I was kind of in the dark. I had to do a lot of research on my own. So I vowed, like anytime somebody asks me for help, any, no matter what it is, it's as simplistic as it sounds or juvenile, I'll help them because they don't know. I say this all the time, I want it all just to give it back, you know what I mean? Why are you going to failure? I go to failure so I can't go no more because if I put a number in my head, then I feel like I'm limiting myself. I want to push past that plateau and get those reps because those last two, three reps that you're struggling, those are reps that are building the muscle, defining that muscle. How can you keep doing this year round? Like, what's the difference between you and the rest? So basically, this is this is not just a fad for me, this is a lifestyle. You know, I've been an athlete since day one. Played college ball with you, we had a hell of a time. So we learned, you know, the building blocks, the foundations. So I stay like this, I always say, I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. So I can show up and show out. Yeah. Mentally, is it draining? Um, and physically? Yeah, it, after like, you know, after like, so I try to stick between four or five shows a year, but once you get to like that fourth and fifth, it's like, damn, all right, it's starting to catch up. So, you know, the biggest thing is just eating right all year round, just, you know, keeping your nutrition right. You know, you gotta have one or two cheat meals or cheat days just to stay sane. Don't try to go 13, 14 weeks clean, cutthroat, because you will go crazy. And then when you cheat, you'll cheat bad. So just reward yourself, you know what I mean? That's how you gotta think of it, you gotta play games, it's a chess match between you and you. You versus you. Yeah. Remember that, you versus you. Don't even worry about what the next man is doing. Because God created us so wonderfully and beautifully that each body, everybody's body is different. What works for me may not work for you, but I can give you the tools to be successful in the overall picture. Why do you do it though, like? What is the main reason? What keeps you going? Obviously what keeps me going is my Lord and Savior. But being able, at the end of the day, I'm trying to create a brand, a legacy to take care of my wife, my family, my kids that, you know, are not here yet on this earth that are coming in generations to come. When your desire and God's will coincide, no man just can stop you. Why do you feel like it's important for others to understand your motivation? Why is it important for under others to understand why it's this is important. It's important because, you know, the thing I say is the worst thing you can do on this earth is not use the gift that God put into you. Every person on this earth was given a gift from God. And it's your responsibility, it's your job. And so you've got to be able to inspire others. Don't let anybody hold you back. Don't let anybody hold you back.